it's just one of the most beautiful places to live. It's got everything, it's mountainous, it's got the most beautiful beaches in the world, it's got a great community, great people. I've been here since I was born. Don't intend to leave because it's such a beautiful spot. You can go and do all different sorts of things like cray fishing, walking, there's camping, hiking, mountain climbing. You can enjoy the place without tripping over somebody. There's not much to not love really. You can tell you're on Flinders Island with your eyes shut. It's just a great place. I think food has the ability to connect people in a way that even language sometimes doesn't. It doesn't matter what your religion, race, sexuality, food is what we all have in common and can bring people together no matter where you're from, what you do. You know, what's the festival about? Like, I think it's about bringing people together who are on the island. It's also about creating an interest around Flinders Island for people who haven't been here before. I think the festival does a pretty good job of showcasing what's available here and some of the personalities that live here. You're just sort of confronted by this wilderness and it's vast and rugged and beautiful and amazing coastline and incredible produce and fish in the sea and lobsters and abalone and it's kind of like you've got to see this place. The ingredients are things like wallaby, the mutton bird, the crayfish, the abalone, sea urchin. We're using mutton bird this year, which is particularly exciting. The festival is intentionally based around the mutton bird season, which only lasts for five weeks in April. We all took part in that this year uh, and witnessed the processing. We're representing that in the main course. Our community makes this place and it gets in your skin. You just get to talk to a local and all of a sudden you'll be invited to their place for a home cooked meal or they'll be taking you out on the boat to go fishing. I think the thing I love about Flinders Island is how natural it is. It's just abundant and it's the bounty of food and the people that are here and it's us, I, I just call it paradise. The diving is so good, the beaches are so beautiful. It's like the ultimate wilderness. This festival really for me is about celebrating one of the most untouched parts of Australia that I've ever seen and just trying to encourage people to, to come and visit Flinders Island and just see how amazing it is with the people and the food and the scenery, it's, it's truly unique. For me this festival is about having those conversations around eating natives and wallabies and mutton birds. The crux of this festival is about that, is about showing how people have lived here for years and years and years. It's completely self-reliant effectively and that should be celebrated, literally.